back to my channel today we have another mukbang video if you haven't seen my first one the link will be down below um honestly i had so many great video ideas this month and none of them have worked out <laughs> so i figured i would just do a video giving an update on my lsat studying but i'm gonna do it while eating in and out can you even uh-oh uh-oh there we go while eating in and out so I didn't get a burger, which, oh my gosh, filming on your phone. I didn't get a burger, um, because I don't really eat red meat like that. I did get a grilled cheese, though. Mind you, I've lived in California my whole life. I've been to In-N-Out, I don't know how many times, and I've never tried the grilled cheese. And then I got animal-style fries. Both of these are on their not-so-secret secret menu. So, yeah, we're going to talk about the LSAT. We're going to eat our food. And that's that on that. Honestly, though, one thing about In-N-Out fries, I feel like they're low-key overrated. Um, if you don't get them animal style, they're like pretty bland. And I mean, I'm gonna still eat them. Okay, let's not get it twisted. I'll still eat them, but animal style just gives them like an extra, an extra something something. So let's just dig in. Ooh. These are good. Mm. Let's try the grilled cheese because it has like lettuce and tomatoes. This is actually pretty good. I was scared to try it because, I mean, who's just eating their grilled cheese with lettuce and tomatoes? Not me, at least. Um, but something about this is working. It really is. I'm not mad at it. Um. Oh, and I got a strawberry shake. So, about the LSAT, first of all, I think I'm going to take the January LSAT. I'm committing to that date, because I feel like when you don't commit to one, you can always push it off and be like, well, not ready yet, I'll just take it the next month, and you know, keep doing that. Once you're set on a date, once you commit to it, once you pay that $200, you have no choice but to be ready by that date, you know? So... For me, that's gonna be January. Um, as for studying, my favorite section so far has been logical reasoning. Well, it's good because that's half the test, you know? And I actually really, really like studying logical reasoning. Reading comprehension, I don't really think much of it. <laughs> um, I do still need to do more practice with it, but I have been studying the LSAT trainer. If you see my previous vlogs, I do try to show you my scores on my drills and whatnot, and it's been going well so far, but I feel like, as with all sections, you really just gotta keep practicing, practicing, practicing to see, you know, if you're really improving or not. Um, me and Logic Games have a love-hate relationship. I. Okay, everyone says logic games are the easiest to improve on, which I believe. Um, when I started studying logic games first, started doing really well, took a little break to focus on lo logical reasoning and reading comprehension, went back to logic games, and my score kind of took a tumble. Um, so now I hate them again. <laughs> but I feel like when you study them, I will say the more you see yourself improving, the more motivated you are to study. So I just need to get back into like practicing them 
the key to those is really diagramming and i know i need to work on my diagramming like that's where all of your answers come from and if i could get that down then you know i think i'll be good this is good As for self-studying in general, um, I mentioned before that I am a first-generation lawyer and a first-generation student. So sometimes I'm like, do I know what the fuck I'm doing? Like, <laughs> That's the thing about self-studying. Like, I don't really have anyone to bounce ideas off of or not ideas like to talk about problems with and things like that so i have considered taking these animal sound flowers are especially good today but um i've considered taking a course to get that kind of one-on-one -on -one help if you will but I don't know, because at the same time, I have seen improvement with self-studying. I just, I think once I start taking practice tests next week, I will really be able to get an idea of like, if what I'm doing is actually beneficial to me at all. Uh, so, but if you have experience taking a class versus self-studying, then please like, can we talk because <laughs> that's what i really yeah i don't know if i'm ever really like doing the right thing i kind of put a lot of tomato what else overall honestly i would say my studying has been going well though um i am kind of nervous for my practice test but yeah that's where we're at um Again, logical reasoning is my favorite. Logic games, not so much. Reading comprehension is like just there, you know? It's just there. But I have been researching the best materials to improve at that section. I have a lot of materials and resources that I've compiled so i can share them all with you guys in the future if you want them like asap just email me go to my channel page click on about you can email me but i do want to make a video so it's like all in one place you know help y'all out um that was probably gross <laughs> i'm sorry This lady is watching me. <laughs> she like got out her car and is standing there. Uh, it's getting awkward now, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> that is the end of the video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. I have more videos coming soon for you guys, so stay tuned for all of that. And please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.